With our 4G LTE IMS system, you get to create a live LTE IMS network in your lab. You can use your own smartphones, and have these smartphones register to this network, and simulate all the services relating to voice, video, and data exchanges. The system uses a common maps architecture across all interfaces. This is a very instrumental product developed by domain experts at GL, which works with exact same architecture, same core technology as in the real network. The 4G LTE IMS system can be configured with various nodes in the real LTE IMS network, to interact with each other and simulate a voltage call or a simple web browsing action. Shown here is a typical setup in our lab. We have two systems, one simulating the LTE Evolved Packet Core and the other simulating IMS Core Network. All the signaling, handovers, browsing internet, video, and voice can be simulated, just the same way as it happens in a real LTE IMS network. The simulated IMS core uses SIP and diameter protocols and is capable of simulating all IMS interfaces such as CX or DX, RX, GX, and so on. These two use cases are demonstrated in our videos, one is typical web browsing session, which uses only LTE data network. Another is Vaulty network, which requires both LTE and IMS core networks interworking. In this video, we are going to demonstrate the Vaulty call only. At the end of this video, there are links to other LTE videos, that we suggest you to view to get a better understanding on web browsing simulation, and functioning of LTE IMS network elements. Archiving in Vaulty call requires interworking of various elements within LTE IMS network. The details of it is not going to be dealt in this video. However, this call flow outlines the entire simulation process or the steps that our 4G LTE IMS system can achieve. This includes PDN connectivity, authentication, bearer setup, and EPS attach, PCSCF discovery, SIP registration, and voice call procedures. Here is a view of our actual 4G LTE IMS demo system in the lab. You can see a real E-Node B communicating with LTE EPC system and IMS core system. The real E-Node B provides us a virtual LTE network at attenuated power levels. And then we have these two 4G enabled smartphones with Vaulty capability. We have configured these smartphones, simulated EPC system and IMS system to use the virtual LTE network. Now let's see what happens when a smartphone is switched on. The smartphone or the UE initiates the registration sequence and gets attached to the LTE network. The network assigns a IP address and a default bearer to the UE. It then discovers which PCSCF to use. The smartphone then registers with the IMS core as a subscriber. The subscriber initiates a voice call with a SIP invite message. The IMS then assigns a dedicated bearer channel for the voice call and specifies the allotted bandwidth. In a Volta call, the bearer is associated with a QoS class identifier that defines the priority for the type of call initiated. When the called subscriber answers the call, the called UE will respond with a 200 OK before the RTP messaging begins. Then the voice session is now established and RTP packets are exchanged. With these detailed call flows and corresponding decodes, 
we can verify the signaling sequence that are critical for a successful voltage call. Let's release this call. This completed call can be monitored with a packet analysis probe such as packet scan that supports all the protocols of a LTE IMS network. Packet scan that can be easily deployed as non-intrusive probe between any of the elements in the Volta network and monitor the packet's flow. This is an all IP monitoring and analysis probe, with wide range of codec support, including AMRWB. Extensive per call voice quality scores such as CMOS, LMOS, packet loss, and so on. Packet scan when used with GLS Net Surveyor web based application allows centralized monitoring of entire LTE IMS network. This completes a quick demonstration of LTE IMS network simulation. For more videos, please visit the website link shown here.